Here we are again. When he was picked to host the Oscars about two months ago, half of the country said, who? Fortunately, the other half was thrilled because they know that we are in for a wild ride. Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane has given a voice to a generation. Many voices, in fact. What's this? You bet it. This baby's voice is Seth MacFarlane. Oh, oh, that's better than sex. This lecherous teddy bear's voice, also Seth MacFarlane. Somewhere out there are four terrible fathers I wish I could thank for this great night. And this, believe it or not, is Seth MacFarlane too. How lucky can one guy be? I kissed her and she kissed me. Like the fella once said, ain't that a kick in the head? Seth is the vision and sensibility behind America's most profitable and popular cartoon series, Family Guy. Now in its 11th season, there is nothing quite like it on TV. But scratcher! But scratcher! But scratcher! It's equal parts juvenile, <laughs> profane with jokes about Jesus. I am a Jew. Prove it. What's a 9% tip on a $200 bill? $18. Which is fair. Oh my God, it's true. And warm hearted. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. Seth is the voice of Stewie. Silence, you contemptible shrew! Who is only 12 months old. For the love of God, shake me! Shake me like a British nanny! I, I want to take over the world because I've got a Napoleonic complex and I'm still trying to figure out who the devil I am and I, I, I want my mother dead. <laughs> He's the voice of Dad Peter Griffin. Ah, get mom! Not the sharpest crayon in the box. This looks fantastic. I can't wait to poop this out. I'm a, I'm a New England guy who uh, likes my uh, Boston Patriots. And he's the talking dog, Brian. What is this on my shoe? My poop. Hello? What the? What, what, who's there? What's going on? Personality-wise, he's, he's gone his own way, but the voice is essentially me. Seth is a hands-on mastermind. He produces, writes, and oversees the music for the show. How do you get to be so accomplished? You start when you are very young. What were you like as a child? Um, I, I was a combination of reclusive and obsessed with what I wanted to do. When I was two, I, wanted, I, I, I was sitting in front of the TV drawing Fred Flintstones really? and Woody Woodpeckers and at age seven. I'm running around like a crazy person doing voices. But at the same time, I, I would try to make animated films and try to figure out exactly how that art form worked. When did you do your first cartoon? How old were you and what was it? I was in seventh grade. It was called Space Pirates. It was terrible. Seth grew up in Kent, Connecticut with his parents, ex-hippies turned teachers. At nine, he started doing a comic strip for his local newspaper, which he continued for years. He went to a top art college, the Rhode Island School of Design, where he performed in student films and made his own. Oh, hi there. You scared the crap out of me. Including an animated film, The Life of Larry, that became the seed for Family Guy. What do you think they eat? Oh, I guess, uh, I don't know, some kind of, like, space jerky. Uh... And at 24, he became the youngest person to ever head a network show. ha -cha! That led to the spin-offs, The Cleveland Show. Here, here's ten bucks. Don't get kidnapped. And American Dad. Stop! Get off me! Yeah, that's what your mom said last night. There doesn't seem to be anything off-limits. I made a little list of some of the things that you discuss. Bestiality... Abortion, AIDS, Irishmen who drink, nuns, premature ejaculation, breastfeeding, and farts. Yeah. You think well, it's easy you, for me to say all that? When you line it all up like that, yeah, I mean, it sounds like maybe we've made a huge mistake, doesn't yeah. it? You know what I am back at the ranch? I'm a breeding bull. What, 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 what's that? You gonna find out. <gasps> the trick to getting it all past the senses, according to Seth, is not to offend too many groups in any given episode. It all just can't be in the same place. There's something called tonnage. And we try to, um, we try to keep those jokes spread apart. It is a balance, but my view is that whatever, if it makes you laugh, it's, it's an honest laugh. You were said to make more than $30 million a year is that what it is? That's what it is. And the Family Guy franchise is said to be worth nearly $2 billion. 
What do you spend your money on? I don't, I don't make a lot of frivolous purchases. The only thing that I, the, in the past 10 years, that I could be considered extravagant is, is I, I bought a timeshare in a, in, a, in a plane. A timeshare? You couldn't buy the whole plane? No, no, no. I'm, oh, God, I'm not Bill Gates. Good Lord. Uh, and it's nice, having, it's nice being able to avoid the airports, but that, that's about it. You might think Seth is at the peak of his career, but in fact, he's just getting started. Now he's getting in front of the cameras. He released an album of American standards. The night they invented champagne, it's plain as it could be, they thought of you and me. He hosted Saturday Night Live. And now you're all like, oh, giggity, giggity, goo. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, don't do Family Guy, we're 30. <laughs> he wrote and directed Ted, his first feature, which has become the highest grossing R-rated comedy in history. And now he's about to do the most shocking thing he's ever done. He's going mainstream, emceeing the Oscars this February. Are you gonna be tough? Are you gonna be funny? Are you gonna make fun the of the actors? <laughs> if, it's, if it's too soft, I'm going to disappoint a lot of my fan yeah. base. If it's too hard, I'm going to lose that room. Are you going to sing at the Oscars? Uh, there, there will be a musical component. You got a big 60-piece orchestra there. I, it's just too big a temptation not to use. In two months, hundreds of millions will be watching this writer, producer, actor, cartoonist, singer, multi-millionaire, and all-around genius. And we'll all find out just how far Seth MacFarlane can go.